This is another one of those videos that I received from my friend Jonathan out of Florida. What's well, actually the link? I'm going to make the video and I'll attach the link. This was posted on Freedom Post Outpost back on the uh, 30th of July, 2013. Did CIA head John Brennan blackmail Barack Obama to get his position? Hmm. Again, John Brennan was head of a company that controlled passports and that company was broken into. And as I stated in a couple of previous videos, three individuals had their files accessed. Hillary Rodham Clinton, Senator John McCain when he was running for the Oval Office, and Barack Hussein Obama. The company was called Stanley Inc. It was an awarded $164 million contract to print new US, new U.S. passports. In 2008, two employees of Stanley Inc., along with a third individual employed by the Analysis Corporation, broke into the U.S. passport office on three separate occasions and improperly accessed the passport records of presidential hopefuls. Obama, Hillary, and McCain. And again, John Brennan was the CEO of the Analysis Corporation at the time that the passport office break-ins took place. And Brennan's been involved in our government for many, many years. Yeah. He's also fully Bilingual in Arabic. He also, by the way, went to Mecca for a pilgrimage. Only Muslims can go to Mecca for a pilgrimage. But that's a different story. You want to read the article and tell me what you think. This is the same John Brennan that, well, his organization, the CIA, they accessed the records in Hawaii of Obama's supposed birth certificate. I don't make the news, folks. Read the article. You let me know what you think. You got a darn good idea as to what I think, don't you?